Poussière of Ohio, wearing his beautiful chapeau but Moses Caballero. The Emperor of the Far West, when he begins his revolver, he can shoot a fly d'un seul geste. In the desert, there is person, never a coup de téléphone. He's a cowboy, poor and lonesome. Il n'a pas peur de personne. Pas surtout des Dalton. Il n'a pas peur de personne. I sense a pattern here. Jolly, I feel like an Odrick. Barkeep, give me a lemonade, straight up. you for laughing, stranger. Taste nothing more ridiculous than a man in a skirt, except, of course, three men in skirts. You laughing at me, cowboy? No, of course not. I'm... Oh. Nothing like a good fight to cement a friendship. From now on, you and I are bosom buddies. Uh, fine, but go easy on the bosom, will you? Say, can I have a room for the night? I'll no hear of you staying in this dump. We'll put you up in the castle. Castle? Greetings and welcome to McLeod Manor. My name's Pumperdink McLeod. I'm the laird of this castle. I'm Lucky Luke. Uh, what's a laird? Oh, well, that's how we Scotsmen pronounce the word lord. We don't want to sound like a bunch of pigs from England, lad. You have a nice castle here, too. How come I never heard of it before? Oh, that's because it's only been here for a month. Mm-hmm. The minute I came out to the Wild West, I thought, this place reminds me of my own bunny Scotland. Not quite as green. It has nothing to do with colour, lad. It has something to do with the air. This place smells like Scotland. So I decided to move here, and since I'm the laird, I brought the entire McLeod clan with me. And not only did I move the clan, but the whole castle, stone by stone. <laughs> Tap. Hog's blood pudding's good for ya. Make cousin Mel Brook, she cooks all of her meals. Her haggis is out of this world, and she makes the best sheep brains in the neighborhood. Speaking of the neighborhood, your men were brawling over in O City. Oh, we McLeods have nothing against our Irish neighbors. They're hot tempered just like us. But if anybody insults Fungus, my chief Highlander, then you can be sure the fists will fly. Whenever someone in the saloon laughs at me kilt, I have to defend my honor. Hey, I wasn't laughing. Oh, sure, that's what they all say. But I trust Mr. Oh My Gosh, the fella in the bowler hat. He tells me when I'm being laughed at. Finish your hog's blood pudding. I whipped up a wobbly jelly dessert just for you. Would you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, good night, Lucky Luke. Good night, Laird. Och, and don't be afraid if you hear chains clanking during the night. That's Laird Pompous the Horrible. He's the family ghost. I couldn't very well leave him behind in Scotland. Lucky Luke's handsome. Two body dances like a sheep. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> 
you made us put on these skirts, boss, so cut out the giggling. Oh, all right. Now, then, are you nitwits sure you understand what to do? Yes, boss. Then get going. And remember, if you mess up, you're not getting your pants back. My legs are awful chilly. If we're going to dump this tea on the Indians, it's got to be stronger! Huh? Oh. Ready! Aim! Fire! The local tribe has always been peaceful. Why did they attack? I've no idea. We've never had any trouble with the Indian clan until this morning. I think I'll look into this. I hope they clean the place up. Say, Chief Black Cloud, what happened to your village? Palefaces attacked during night. Now tribe have tough time fixing things up. Watch. You laughing at us, Lucky Luke? Wouldn't dream of it. Braves are feeling mighty embarrassed. Last night they were sleeping while outside in the chilly air, men in skirts flattened the village. This morning's revenge attack was a disaster. Men in skirts? Four of them, dressed up like squaws and meaner than rabid coyotes. They wrecked village for no reason. Uh-oh. It couldn't have been McLeod's men. They were up partying. Braves will go into training, then attack Big Stone Teepee again. Pale faces and ladies' clothes will pay for attacking tribe. And for spilling war paint. These tracks lead to O City. I'll find your attackers, Black Cloud. <laughs> if he could find instruction manual for building Teepee, that would also be nice. And shine. Oh. Oh. Do you see our pants around here? No, now get up. That's you! I've got the sniffles because of this kill. Sheriff, these four disguise themselves as McLeod's men, then wreck the Indian village. I'll try to stop Black Cloud from going on the warpath. You put these guys on ice. No, please don't put us on ice. That's you! What's all this about McLeod and Black Cloud? Sounds kind of foggy. Then let's cut through the fog and find out why it happened. <laughs> Okie dokie, why'd you do it? Don't like Indians. I hate Indians. Can't stand Indians. Same here. Well, there's your answer. Huh? Why, hello there, Mr. Oh my gosh. What a pleasure to see you. Sheriff O'Star. I hear my employees cut themselves into trouble. I'll pay a fine to keep them out of jail. How about a quarter for the farming? I'll be by for your rent next week, Hostar. Come on, fellas. Let's go find your pants. Hang on, oh my gosh. I want to know why... I don't talk to men who talk to men in skirts. Oh. Uh -huh. Say. Sorry, but I don't talk to men who talk to... You're gonna to talk me. to me. What have you folks got against McLeod's men? It's the clothes they wear. Whenever we see their kilts, we laugh. The next thing you know, ooh, there's a brawl. Then don't laugh. We try not to, but Mr. Oh My Gosh is sharp. He can spot people laughing, even when they're not. Tell Oh My Gosh to shut up. We don't dare. He owns the whole town. The saloon, the bank, even the jail. Everything in O City belongs to him. <laughs> So you see, Black Cloud, the attackers weren't really McLeod's men at all. Were raiders punished? Were they stomped and kicked and beaten and starved? No, but one of them caught the sniffles. Runny knows not enough. Great war spirit is angry and demands vengeance. So Black Cloud will lead an all-out attack on Stone Teepee to restore honor of tribe. But first, must train braves to throw spears with pointy end in front.
The Indians want war, but you don't have to give it to them. You could simply refuse to fight. Sorry, but the Highland Code of Honor stipulates that when enemies attack, it is exceedingly impolite to do anything but massacre them. This land is at peace, Pumperdink. You mustn't provoke the Indians to Would be... Would you rather I provoke the dreadful wrath of Lord Pompous the Horrible? Our family ghost is a real stickler for good manners! I don't know who to watch, Jolly. The clowns in O City, the Indian village, or the castle. The suspense is kilting me. <laughs> uh oh. Chief Black Cloud, I am the Great War Spirit. After the humiliating defeat of your braves in this morning's battle. I am very, very, very upset. Oh, great war spirit. Black Cloud apologized for leading such a tribe of lily-livered losers. I don't want apologies. I want action. Tomorrow, your braves will attack the men in skirts in a fight to the finish. Oh, no, they won't. Huh? <laughs> I wish I knew how to build a better teepee. Shh. That was a neat trick. Today, Pumperdick, but they'll be back tomorrow, and it's your blood they'll be after. You little pompous, you certainly know how to cheer a fellow up. Silence, you blithering fool! <laughs> Do not betray the honor of the McLeod clan by making peace with the Indians. You must fight to the finish, or I warn you. I shall haunt you for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Don't worry, Laird, I promise we'll fight to the finish. You know, I'm really sick of hearing that expression. How dare you! Whoever he is, that guy sure knows his way around the castle. Of course he does. Pompous has been haunting this place for 350 years, and he's as nasty as ever. Gallopin' goat guts, lucky Lucas hurt his nose. I'll make him a nice mustard plaster. No, no, it's okay. Highlanders, Lord Pompous commands us to fight to the finish. We'll beat those Indians or die trying. You have something to say, cowboy? Yeah, quit talking about fights and dying because nobody's going to die. Oh, really? Well, I've had enough of your rudeness. You don't like our gourmet food, you put bullet holes in our ceiling, and now you're telling us not to obey the commands of Laird Pompous. That's because Pompous is a fake. What? Watch your mouth, Lucky Luke. Up until now, I've considered you a friend. But if you keep this up, good manners will oblige me to massacre you. Just call out your bagpiper, will you? Will it be a musical massacre, then? Oh, how lovely. There'll be no massacre, Fungus. There's just one bogus ghost that I want to wake up. What shall I play for you? Whatever you like, as long as it's loud. Is someone torturing a cat? Be quiet! Cut it out! Stop that infernal racket! Ain't there a fire? It's monstrous! It's appalling! It's Scottish! <laughs> oh. 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 
disturbing the peace, unlawful entry, assault, you're gonna pay a big fine. What are you doing? That's burglary. Sheriff! Sheriff! Save your breath, oh my gosh. You can't buy your way out of trouble this time. Well, well, does this belong to you? Maybe. Anyway, it's none of your business. What is my business is that the Indians are attacking McLeod Manor at dawn and we can still stop them if we hurry. Let's go. Where to? The castle. <gasps> Never! I don't talk to men oh, who... Oh, you're gonna talk all right, because you've got a lot of explaining to do. Say, look, what's going on? This man shot at me, Sheriff. All right, I'm setting this fine out. Forget the fine. I'll bring him back when I'm done with him. He's pretty heavy for a ghost. Piper, forward march. No! Stop playing! I hate that noise! Men in skirts are big cheaters. When they fight, they not use regular weapons. My braves are confused. Why didn't you take my advice and keep the peace, Black Cloud? Because great war spirit commanded me to attack, but men in skirts do not fight fair. They defeating my warriors with stinky sausage and hot liquid. Great war spirits mighty upset. Don't you worry about him, Chief. Follow me. We'll settle this right now. Hold the haggis. It's me. Here's your family ghost, Pumperdink, in the flesh. There's nothing as ridiculous as a man wearing a nightcap. Hey, wait, I know that face. Ugh. He's not the family ghost, but he is a member of the clan. Cousin Paddinglock. Yes, it's Paddinglock McLeod. Yeah, now I understand. That strange whiff of Scotland that made me want to settle here. It was you I was smelling, Paddinglock. Why is everyone laughing? Ugh, it's an old family story. Back when we were young, Paddinglock was the spitting image of Laird Pompous. Mm, he still is. It was the painting in the castle that made me suspect him. And just like Pompous, Paddinglock had a nasty temper. He still has that, too. Naturally, the girls wouldn't even talk to him. Well, one night, after too many cups of malted barley, he went and kissed frightful Fiona, the ugliest lass in the McBeastly clan. <laughs> Oh, we can all laugh about it now, but at the time it was a terrible family scandal. Go on. You see, the McLeods and the McBeastleys have been feuding for generations. My father, Lair Pumpernickel, banished Paddinglock. So you call yourself, oh my gosh, now, do you? That's right. I want nothing to do with Scotland. I think Haggis is disgusting, and I hate anybody who wears a kilt. I changed my name and came here to be as far as I could from the old country. I founded Old City and became a rich man. I had a fine life until the McLeod clan planted its castle right next door, reminding me of my exile and my shame. So you thought you'd start an Indian war to destroy the castle? That's right. I wanted to see McLeod Manor in ashes. I think it's clear that your scheme has failed. Think again. But, Chief, can't you see that this is just a family thing? Family, shmamly. Black Cloud not care how trouble started. Tribe's code of honor say that once battle has begun, warriors must stay and fight to the finish. ta -ha! Well spoken. Our clan's code of honor says the same thing. So please feel free to resume your attack where you left off, and the Highlanders will be only too happy to provide you with a nice massacre. I don't think that's such a good idea. I'm sure we can all find another way to settle this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? Like, like what? what? I know a way we can have a massacre without a battle. It's called a rugby game. You sure it's wise to make him the referee? Believe me, he's the only man for the job. <laughs> Told you. It 
the object of this game. To inflict the law of pain! <laughs> That should be penalty! What's referee doing out there? I'd say the massacre's gone on long enough, wouldn't you? If it's all right with Chief Black Cloud, I suppose we could call a truce. Fine by me, as long as we can do this again next year. No fear that there's only two teams playing. Next year, an Irish team's gonna play. Oh, cousin Paddinglock, I'm very proud of you. It was rough out there, but you took your knocks like a true McLeod. So I'm letting you back in the clan. Come on over to the castle for a post-game haggis. Lucky Luke, in recognition of your service to the clan, I hereby declare you an honorary McLeod. Wear the kilt with pride. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hey! <laughs> and he looked so good in a skirt. I'm a bold, lonesome cowboy. 